Hello, everybody. Remember that infamous poster that I was talking about with the Ava Chris and that, you know, I can't even literally show it on YouTube right now, but the one that Ava Chris Tyson allegedly had commissioned by Shadman. Well, this YouTuber, I just saw this video last night, seems to have found proof that Jimmy was at the very least being a little bit misleading, a little bit maybe possibly perhaps, I don't know, I'm not saying it, lying about what he knew or didn't know about this poster. Hold on a second. My little girl's little eye mask done slip. <laughs> So if you didn't know, I don't know why you would even be here, why you would have clicked on this video if you didn't know, but just in case you didn't, I will give you the brief, very brief rundown here real quick, real quick. So Mr. Beast is a very huge YouTube, possibly arguably the biggest YouTuber ever in the history of the planet. And whenever Mr. Beast started making his videos, he did so with a group of friends. One of these friends was his childhood friend at the time, simply known as Chris Tyson. Now, Chris Tyson got into a few scandals involving and having to do with with things having to do with children, people under the age of 18. There's all kinds of videos out on that. Y'all can go watch it. And also, also, Mr. Beast, the movie on my other channel, BJ Investigates, will be coming out probably today, probably today. So, but essentially this person, Chris at the time, but who's now Ava Chris, Ava Chris started getting called out about relations with minors and things like that. And, and a big part of this lore, a big part of this drama, a big part of this scandal has to do with certain types of art that are derived from anime, but are not strictly speaking in and of themselves only anime. There's, you know, again, I mean, you gotta be careful what you say over here, but one such type is called, you know, hente if you know what I mean. And another type is called the first part of the word lollipop. Okay, so those types of art are a little bit more deranged, the second a little more than the first, because what it is, is look here, it's, it's drawings of children, it's drawings of children. So there was this one artist, should I pray Jean, who is known as Shad Man. He was drawing pictures of little kids, little girls, little children. And I'm not talking about a thousand year old vampire either. No, ma'am. I'm talking about actual people's kids who are not yet of the age of 18 in situations I can't even describe here and, and wouldn't honestly probably even want to describe a mixed company. Okay. So this Shad Man person drew a picture of sorts for Ava Chris Tyson. Now there is dispute whether Ava Chris Tyson actually had this art piece commissioned as in Toll Should I Pray Jean aka Shad Man what he was supposed to draw or if it was just an auction where Ava Chris had just bought this and it was already drawn. Who knows? I certainly cannot show the picture here on here, but just, you know, in case you forgot. Now, some people say it is a, obviously a very young underage person. I'm not to disagree with that. It's not obvious to me that it is an underage person. Like this cartoon character could be, you know, 20 something, 30. I, I don't know. I don't know how old this cartoon is supposed to be, but to me, it's not necessarily the case that this is an underage cartoon drawing, but there's some other really disturbing and despicable stuff going on on this drawing. Like for example, there is a second amendment device in the cartoon's mouth, you know, like holding it in its own mouth, which is depraved. And then there's also this like BBC, which is like a sexual fetish, which, Hey, look, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna judge anybody if everything's all consenting and stuff. But anyway, yeah. So there was this piece the art. The controversy with this drawing is that Ava, Chris at the time, didn't just buy this one little piece of art. No, no. This artist, like we already talked about, should I praise y'all? He draws disturbing and alarming things. And Ava, Chris, yes, of course, did purchase and advertise this painting, this drawing, this whatever it is. But also on top of all of that, Ava seemed to have been just generally a huge fan of this Shut Eye Pray Jean person because there's all kinds of tweets going back and forth about Ava Chris talking to Shut Eye Pray Jean, talking about she's cute for 14 and please draw a picture of this. I mean, there's y'all can go, like I said, y'all can go look it up. The stories are out there. The reason I'm making this video today is that there has been a content creator, Coffee and Cults, who has spoken on this issue. Now, her video does focus on some of the deleted content, some of Mr. B's deleted content. And there was a section of her videos, a great video. I will link it in the description box down below and y'all should go and give this video a watch because let's just say there's a surplus of Mr. Beast content coverage on the internet right now, but it's really not a lot of us out here saying brand new stuff that nobody else is saying. And I got to give it to Coffee and Cults. Good job. Great job. Great coverage because she did cover some stuff that nobody else has talked about. And in particular, she found some stuff about this Shadman poster. So 
this is her channel right here coffee and cults this is the video right here it looks like i only watched this much of it i don't know why i definitely watched the whole thing but it's called behind the mr beast curtain what everyone missed in a deleted beast video okay and then she has all these different links and things in the description box okay video is like 34 minutes long we're definitely not going to watch the whole thing there's one part of it i want to watch with y'all and then i would encourage you to go and watch the rest yourself so let me pull up the part about this shad man poster because it seems as though coffee and colts done found a connection done found done caught done busted mr beast perhaps in a not quite so true statement. Let me show you what I mean. Obviously, a lot of people were very, very angry and upset by these allegations. Ava and Jimmy Donaldson both released statements, although they did contradict each other. Donaldson said that he had fired Ava and that they wouldn't be at the company anymore. But Ava's statement said that they had mutually decided Ava would step away from the channel and everything Mr. Beast. People were digging into Ava's social media accounts. And this was when someone came across interactions on Twitter with Donaldson himself, Mr. Beast, and this Shadman artist. Mr. Beast allegedly replied to one of Shadman's tweets that had a drawing, and he replied with a picture of himself. I'll put it on the screen. Okay, so this is news to me. I'm sure some of y'all knew this, but this is news to me. Did y'all know that Mr. Beast himself from the Mr. Beast account had interacted with Shadman? I'm sure some of y'all knew this. I'm sure some of y'all knew this. There's a lot to know, okay? But I didn't know this. Did y'all know Mr. Beast himself had interacted with the Shad Man? I, I did not know. Look, she's gonna show you right here, look. And text saying, oh, this is everything we've ever wanted. We can quit now. In his statement, he said that he knew nothing about Ava or what was going on and was shocked by it. When the allegations first came out, a lot of people were discussing, did Mr. Beast know or didn't he? That's still what we all wanna know. And at this point, I don't think we wanna know, did he know? I think at this point we want to know what all did he know? Not, you know, it's obvious he knew some stuff. It's like, you know, maybe it's maybe the question needs to be, what didn't he know? So when people found this tweet, they were thinking, oh, well, maybe he did know. And I know even initially, a lot of people were thinking, well, they've been friends forever. They live together. They're so involved in each other's lives. They work together. They're together constantly. Wouldn't he know this about his friend? Although some people keep secrets like that from their friends. But when you're looking at what the former Mr. Beast employees said, it seemed to be openly discussed. So then she just kind of, I'll paraphrase for her, but then she kind of just gets into people's discussions, you know, the, the public commentary. And she's saying, look, listen, huh. Mr. Beast put this tweet out talking about he didn't know about the disgusting, deplorable and depraved allegations, didn't know any of this stuff and all that. And Coffee and Cults is kind of like, Okay, well, that's a little bit hard to believe. That's hard to believe. Y'all grew up together. Y'all were best friends. This person was your first subscriber ever on Mr. B's YouTube channel. She's just kind of going over like, it was hard for the general public to believe that in general, that Jimmy Donaldson knew nothing about any of this, despite the fact that he had been very close with Ava Chris, his whole basically life, it seems. And she said, and that wasn't it. There were employees and former employees coming out and talking about this too. And she includes this clip. Clip. So, and it's so crazy, especially when people are like, he had no idea about Chris's whatever. It's like, bro, that was like a funny joke to them. Do you think Jimmy knew about all this stuff and they just didn't, maybe he, he would laughed about it, but didn't know how serious it was. Like, what, what's your take on Jimmy's? I tried to be as fair as possible. I don't think Jimmy had any idea about the meeting up with people. Um, I just don't know. I feel like this would, that was like Ava's dirty secret at the time, but they definitely knew about the that was like mm -hmm. so right. funny to them they're like yeah look at the lolly discord did you check the lolly discord mm -hmm. oh like, shit. i i know i had worked there for like two weeks when they were like yo you mess with the nails the nails uh, mm -mm, no it's not a good color combo boo boo bro i'm like i don't even know what that oh. is and so, who asked you that uh, yikes. Insane. what insane <laughs> who asked i know you and at the time me i mean now they're talking about, I'm gonna have to bleep the word out because apparently you're not allowed to say nothing. I'm gonna bleep the word out. But what they're talking about is a type of art, which I don't believe is art, where they draw in little kids, the type that Shad Man makes, should I pray Jean? And um, this former employee is saying, look, I don't know if Jimmy Donaldson knew about the meetups with the children. I don't know if what he knew, what he didn't know. But I can tell you for a fact that the lollipop minus pop... <laughs> Jimmy knew about. That's what this former employee is saying on this Ethan Klein interview that has been clipped into this video we're reacting to. I don't want to get sued when I made my original video, but there was so much stuff going on at the time. There was soliciting 
in there was what? what? God, wait, you say so? Listen, what now? It's giving P. Diddy White party if you know you know. Now, <laughs> what? Dude, I don't necessarily want to get sued, so this is in Minecraft. I don't know. But obviously, we don't know for sure. So it could be that he doesn't know. It could be that he'd replied to this Shadman tweet and didn't really even know what it was. Although to me, it doesn't seem likely that that was the case. But again, as I said, people were digging into all of the social media and content. So it wasn't long until more was found. People went back through all of his old videos, the ones that are still up there anyway. And in one of the videos, tipping pizza delivery drivers hundred dollars. Yeah, probably take a step back. With like shock, I can like okay, so in her video, she's basically just trying to answer a question. We're all trying to answer really. Did Mr. Beast know? Probably he knew something. So what did he know? And when I say Mr. Beast, I mean Jimmy Donaldson. But just so that we are very, very clear, Mr. Beast is a brand name for an enterprise. And it is not the same equal sign to Jimmy Donaldson. So if I'm saying Mr. Beast, like did Mr. Beast know? I should really be more careful. I'm trying to be more specific with the language. But did Jimmy Donaldson know? What did he know? What didn't he know? Right? That's what she's trying to answer. So the first thing she's saying is, first of all, it's kind of hard to believe that Jimmy couldn't have known something that his best friend was doing. Second of all, there's employees coming out, former employees coming out saying, yes, Jimmy knew. Jimmy knew this, 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 lollipop minus the pop. And now she's going to say, and we have video evidence that he knew. And y'all, I know this is all just kind of stuff you already knew, but just wait because there is a smoking gun coming up real soon that I have not heard anyone else talk about. So now she's talking about that video where we can see Jimmy Donaldson in the room with the poster and she's going to show that, but then there's going to be more coming right after. There are a few clips of Donaldson, Tyson and their friends in the living room of the house that Donaldson and Tyson are sharing and living together in. There are a few quick clips where you can see that they're all sitting around on the phone call. So I never really understood this in this way maybe somebody said it and i just didn't process it did not comprehend it but i was under the impression that this house that they were sitting at was ava chris's house i was under the impression that is where at the time would have been known as formerly known as chris tyson at the time this video was filmed i was under the impression that was ava chris's apartment where ava chris lived and they were just filming a video over there but that's not what's being told to me here on this video is that they were all living together in this house or at least jimmy was with ava chris who was at the time chris and there is a visible poster on the wall and in a few split seconds so just so y'all are aware that is this scene right here this is from reddit i will blur the poster out because i have to but as you can see here, they do have Mr. Beast's face circled and he is looking straight up at that poster, which is on the wall. Again, this is all kind of like old news is old news, but we're building up to a larger point here. Just, just bear with me. You can see Jimmy Donaldson looking at this poster and this poster is one of the pieces of art that Ava had commissioned from this Shadman artist. And, and in case y'all didn't know, Shad Man, Should I Pray Jean, is also in a bunch of other legal trouble in LA that's been going on for three years for a dead weapon and something else. He had a knife. Girl, I don't know. I'm talking about it tonight, though, Mr. Beast, the movie. He just had a court date like a week ago or less. And, um, doesn't look like they had sentenced him or anything. There was some talking about whether he was mentally competent, which girl, I mean, look, based on what he's drawing, he might not be mentally competent. He might need to be locked up, conservatorship or jail, if you know what I mean. So she goes on to describe the poster. We've already discussed the poster, so I'm going to skip forward. But the but Mr. Beast team actually went back and edited out these parts of the video. So the videos are still up there, but there's seconds shaved off the time and they have pulled all of the clips where you can see the poster on the wall. So even though the poster was in the living room and we had the screen. Then she goes on to describe that even though you used to be able to go and look at this video, this one right here with the poster up on the wall and Mr. Beast in it and all that, that video is still up. She's saying that video is still up, but they don't took out that one part. They don't clipped out the part. All the incriminating evidence toward Jimmy with the poster in there is gone, is gone. Okay. We know that. We knew that. It's been deleted, but just that part, not the whole video. Okay. So look what else has been deleted. We're going to get to it right now. Drum roll, please. People were giving him the benefit of doubt with the Shatman tweet and people were saying, well, maybe he didn't know about it. So she's saying, all right, that is the evidence roundup. That's the evidence that the public seemingly has collected so far. And people were still kind of giving Jimmy the benefit of the doubt. And people, even, you know, reasonable, logical people were saying, look, it doesn't look good. But this is not definitive proof that Jimmy knew anything. Even if he was living in this house, 
I can't control every single thing that the roommate that I live with brings into my house and puts up on the wall. Maybe Jimmy just thought it was a hot, sexy girl. Maybe he didn't know it came from Shut I, Pray Jean. You know, people were saying that. And she's kind of doing the roundup of like, you know, there still were some people who weren't fully convinced. And she's saying, and that's understandable because there was at least some degree of plausible deniability. But look what she went and found. What if I told you there was another piece to the puzzle that no one else has discussed? I would be interested in that. This piece makes it even more difficult to believe that Jimmy Dawson didn't know anything about this. This was missed because it actually has been deleted from his channel. And I haven't seen anyone else discuss this. And I have been watching a lot of... I haven't either. I have not seen anyone else discuss this either. Now, I will tell you in Mr. Beast the movie... I did go through quite a few of these deleted videos and I have a lot of stuff from the deleted videos, but I did not notice this. The video, I bought an i8 BMW that's $100,000. That video has a very interesting clip towards the end. So in the beginning of the video, she talks about a Mr. Beast video that has now been deleted. And it is about whenever Mr. Beast, aka Jimmy Donaldson had bought this BMW i8. It's a really nice sports car, German made just like Jimmy. I mean, um, it's a really nice sports car, this BMW. And she said at the very end of that video, there is an interesting clip. Let's get to that part. So in this BMW video, he starts by sitting in his house. He's sitting in the living room in a similar area to he was in the tipping pizza delivery guys video. And it's actually the opposite way. So he's sitting there and you can see the kitchen behind him. And from other videos, there's a window. So she says the video with the BMW, it opens up with Jimmy sitting down in front of a computer screen talking. Okay. And when he's sitting there, you can do a little reverse triangulation and look and see he's in the exact same room from that pizza delivery video. Remember the, the pizza delivery video we just talked about where Jimmy's sitting on the couch, he looks up, you can see him looking at the chef poster and all that. So she's saying, all right, the BMW video opens up and it's Jimmy sitting in that room. But instead of sitting the same direction he was sitting before, he's actually turned in the opposite direction. Okay. So, so he's sitting in this room right here, right? That's what she's saying. He's sitting here, but instead of facing this way where he's facing us, he'd be kind of facing like, you know, the way we're looking at right now. Okay. So she says he's in the same room in this BMW video. In front he's of him, and then there's a wall here. And then there used to be two big TVs. And in another deleted video, Jimmy and Ava are walking around their house. And Jimmy says, this TV is Chris's and this TV is mine. That's important. And then the poster is actually hanging next to the TVs. So Jimmy records the beginning of the video. So she describes this other video where Ava, Chris, and Jimmy are in this specific apartment. And there's two TVs on the wall. One TV is for Ava, Chris. One TV is for Jimmy. She doesn't include the clip from that. And I got some other stuff to do today. I don't have time to go source that. I wish she would have included that clip because I would like to show it to y'all. But this is her word of mouth. I have no reason to believe she's lying, but consider, you know, take with a grain of salt, make your own decision. It's like a third of the video. And then it cuts to outside in a parking lot where he's showing the car and he's going through the car and talking about it. And then it cuts back for like the last few, maybe it's not even two minutes of the video. And he's kind of closing it out and he's sitting in the same position, but he's obviously not left the camera up. So it's not in the exact same position. And the so then she says, all right, fine. He does the video. There's a car, there's a BMW, whatever. And then at the very last minute or two of the video, there's a clip for this. I'll show you in a second. The very last minute or two of the video, Jimmy is back again in that same living room yet again. Okay. And on this one, you'll be able to take Jimmy's word for it. You don't take mine. You don't have to take hers. Okay. So just to recap, he starts the video out in the living room. He ends the video in the living room. In the middle, there's a BMW. There's some stuff. Okay. At the end of this video, the camera angle is ever so slightly shifted. And because of the camera angle shift in the video, you can see something on the wall. It's mind blowing. Camera is turned slightly more towards the wall. And in this video, you can see on the wall that the two TVs are gone, but the poster is still on the wall. You can only see the bottom half of it. And you're probably thinking, why are you telling me we know the poster was there? But in the video, he talks about the fact that for months, Ava hasn't lived there. Ava moved out and Ava took her TV off the wall. Before I, something has to change because it's, it's miserable sitting in that room alone all day. So here is said video. And as you can clearly see, the poster is still up on the wall. Okay. You see it? So you'll hear Jimmy Donaldson say why he hasn't been posting, why he has, you know, whatever. He's making excuses for something I don't know. And he talks about Ava Chris moving out. Editing, writing scripts, filming, 
I just don't want to do it. And also, Chris, my roommate, moved out, so that doesn't really help either. Um, but as for the car, honestly, it's brought me a lot of joy. I love that car. Okay, so she's bringing up, Coffee and Colts is bringing up this other TV clip that, again, I really wish she would have included. I have no reason to believe she's lying, but I just wish that I could see it just to show y'all definitively. But she brought up that clip earlier about the TVs and them talking about one TV is at the time Chris, now Ava Chris. One is for Ava Chris, one is for Jimmy. And she's saying, look, Jimmy's sitting here saying Ava Chris down moved out. Chris at the time moved out. And she's saying there's only one TV up there on the wall. So it would appear that Ava Chris took the TV off the wall and took the rest of the belongings, but didn't take this poster. Again, this poster that was drawn by the lollipop without the pop artist. Why would someone take their TV and not take their poster? And why would someone live in a house after their roommate has left for months and leave a poster up if they... That's the next question. I can understand why Ava Chris didn't want to bring the poster. Okay, like maybe Ava Chris was about to get married. Maybe, I don't know. I didn't do the timeline on this, but I can think of some reasons why Ava Chris wouldn't want to take this poster into the next house that was going to be the next house. But why would Jimmy leave it up on a wall if he didn't like it? Why would Jimmy leave this poster up on a wall if he didn't like it? It's very, very, to me, not believable. It's just, it's very, very unbelievable to me that Jimmy had no idea that that is what that poster was. First of all, it's just unbelievable to me that he didn't know that that's what the poster was, just letting his roommate have it up on the wall. But let's say, let's say he didn't, let's say all that. He must have liked it enough to leave it up on the wall that Ava Chris had moved out months before and the poster is still up there sitting up there on the wall. So then that just begs the question, is it really for Ava Chris? Was it ever for Ava Chris? Was it that Ava Chris bought it for Jimmy as a gift? I don't know. I mean, it raises a lot of questions. It raises a lot of questions that I don't have the answer to. But I did want to boost this finding. I mean, it doesn't seem like Coffee and Cults is having any problem getting views or getting any clicks and things. I mean, she's got a lot of views and I think she should. But I just want to boost this because I think it's very important looking like um maybe Jimmy did know a little bit more about this poster than originally represented maybe he didn't but it is very interesting to me I, I don't know I would keep that up on the wall you know I, I'm not sure I would want to look at that every day but I'm not them they not me who knows who really knows put your theories in the comments down below and don't forget do not forget Mr. Beast the movie coming out on BJ Investigates today see you there and that's all I really had for today in the meantime facts ain't defamation love you mean okay bye Backtrack, and you should have kept my name out your mouth as we go, how it all.